feed Ziggy lunch? No. There we go. Hey everyone, I'm back. This is Lunch with Laura. I'm Laura Lee Collet, and I live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and, oops, let's see. What happened to my, there we go. Um, anyway, uh, this is Laura Lee Collet. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and you're having lunch with Laura. Well, we've got, I've got exciting news. I um, received this adorable little box from Stampin' Up! and I see that it is backwards. Let me see what I can do about that. Oops. Okay. And now you can read it. And on the inside, look, it even has a cute little clasp. I opened it up, and it's from Stampin' Up! awarding me my 10-year pin. Isn't that pretty? Well, I'm delighted at that. And uh, for those of you that know me, I've really been with Stampin' Up! since 2004 uh, when I... Um, made it to my kid's house in North Carolina, and my daughter-in-law said, oh, we're having a Stampin' Up! party. No clue what that was. But anyway, that's when I got involved with it. And um, after a few years, the girl I had signed up under dropped, so then I signed up with someone local that I had become friends with. And um, so that's, from that point on, it's been 10 years, and that's how I got my pen. And it's a wonderful family to be with, a wonderful community, lots of support, and a whole lot of fun. And I'm going to tell you today, I'm going to talk to you about something that you may or may not have tried. And if you have not, you need to. This is fun in a box. And I'm going to tilt you down so that... And let's make sure, I think I've got it backwards. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> and what I am talking about today is our paper pumpkin. This is Stampin' Up! subscription mail order package. For crafting that comes in the mail once a month. Talk about happy mail. This is almost as good as the UPS man. So each box, they used to come like this. The same color, the same color tissue. Well, now they've ventured out, and I'll show you what we're going to look at in a minute. But um, Stampin' Up! started this several years ago. And in each box, you've got everything that you need to make a project. And it all, it's $20 a month. You can cancel or sus suspend your subscription at any time. There is a guarantee that if you're not happy, you can get a refund. And um, when you subscribe, if you subscribe by the 10th of the month, you'll get that month's paper pumpkin. So in April, if you subscribe anytime after the 10th of March up to the 10th of April, you'll get the April uh, paper pumpkin kit. And they all come with a stampin' spot that looks like this, die cuts, Sometimes there's stickers and all sorts of stuff that goes to make that kit. And it can be, most of the time, it's greeting cards. But sometimes there'll be home decor. It might be gift bags. Um, 
I took these. This is a great thing to take to a crop or if you're in a hurry and you want to work on something, grab this and a pair of scissors and you'll have everything you need. Uh, I did seven kits while I was at the crop a couple of weeks ago. And out of those seven, I made 24, I was way behind, Christmas gift cards, so I'll be ready when Christmas comes this year, six gift bags, and 70 cards. So that's not too bad for a weekend. And um, in the very first kit you get, I'm looking at my notes to make sure I don't miss anything, but you get a clear block that looks like this and it'll fit any of the stamps. And um, then, after that, like I said, you'll get a stamping spot, you'll get uh, all the die cuts and everything. And the thing, a plug I wanna put in for um, Paper Pumpkin, in the beginning, I'll be honest, they weren't that great. But I tell you what, the artists that are working on them now, they are awesome. And I'm just thrilled to death, I get it every month and try to keep up with it. Sometimes I get behind, but um, anyway, it's just, it's a lot of fun. I have also used these for gifts. Makes a great birthday gift uh, for, you know, or just a, a nice friend gift to uh, give someone and get, hopefully get them in with, to stamp with you. So let's take a look at what uh, this month's paper pumpkin looks like. I haven't opened it, so let's do that first. Um, <clears throat> they come shrink wrapped, and like I said, they arrive right at your door. Okay. Now, so this is the paper pumpkin kit this month. Isn't that cute? And it has the name and the month on the ends. This one's called Here's to You, March 2021. Now, I did cheat a little bit. I haven't, I don't really know what's inside, but I do know what color scheme that we're using. The colors are Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Pear Pizzazz, Petal Pink, Pretty Peacock, and Seaside Spray. And both of these are retiring. I'm so sad. But anyway, maybe they'll come back as a regular color in years to come. Okay, let's get busy and see what's going on in here. Okay, when you open your box, you have what's coming the next month. Oh, look, you got a stampin' sponge. Okay, we sell these. And here's our little um, stamp set. And it says, here's to you. Let's see if I can read all of these. Congratulations. I'm gonna have to, they're on clear. Let me see if I can put them on something darker. We might just have to stamp that and see what it says. And let's see, here's to you. Happy birthday. I think most of them include a happy birthday stamp. And let me show you while we're talking about this. Um, we get a stamping spot and the one this time is Calypso Carl. Let me show you how I um, store mine. I take one of our clear envelopes and cut the flap off. And then I put the color of the spot that you got. I do a little uh, piece of card stock. I label it, the name of it, the month and year, and then the um, stamps go right in inside and I keep them in a little box. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with this one. Okay, so we've got our sponge, we've got our Calypso Carl, We've got our stamp set, and look at this. This is really cool. Stencils. 
Look at that, that's clouds. Little mountain view. A sunburst. And stars. Look at that. Oh, cool. You don't usually get things like this, but this was a, an extra special one. Now, we get down and we'll see what's in the box. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Now, let's see what we've got. The directions are on the back. Let's take a look at that first. This shows you what the cards are going to look like. Then when you open it up, it gives some directions. You're going to stamp the sentiment on the white labels, and we'll get around to all of this in just a second. There is a uh, ruler at the bottom, so I see that we got some linen thread in here, so we'll probably be using that to measure. And let's take a look. I think we have four of two different designs. Let's see if that's right. So, one, two, three, four of that card, and four of this card. We have die cuts. Look how cute those are. Oh, and you know one other thing that is really neat? There are always some leftovers, and you can create something different. Then we have envelopes. Oh, I love those um, craft envelopes. And we used to call them craft, they're crumb cake now. Then look at this. These are envelope liners that'll go inside. And they're four in two different colors. Aren't those adorable? Those are almost too cute to put in there. Okay. Then I saw some other things here. We have Look how cute that is. They're tags, clouds. Then inside you have dimensionals, the little mini dimensionals that pop things up. You have the linen thread and you also have your um, mini glue dots. So see what I mean? Everything's included. So let's see if we can go about making a card or two. I'm gonna take one of these and one of these and put the rest back in my box. Okay, here's my stamp and my clear block. So, of course, the first thing you're going to do is to fold it on the score line. And if you have a um, have one of these do, do jiggies, you can use that to make a crisp little fold there. Okay, so those are done. Let's see which one we're going to do first. Okay. Uh, stamp sentiments on white label and stamp the birds on card fronts and the die cuts. All right. So let's see. We've got some little birds right there. And let's see. I think I need a birthday card. Let's do birthday. I always like to put my photopolymer down and then put my block on it. And let's find, here is our, I need my little cut. 
cutter again on the scissors. And just cut that across to open it. Well, let's do that again. Okay, there it went that time. Okay, so here's your Calypso Carl. And I'm going to use one of the, let's look at the front. I'm going to use one of the bigger ones for the happy birthday. Okay. No, it won't. I'll use one of the little ones. Okay, that came out great. Let's try the here's to you. This could be birthday too. You could put happy birthday on the inside of your card. And I'm just gonna take my little stamping spot, ink it up. Okay, and we'll put it right there. Okay, now I'm going to pop those two out, and we're going to, let's see, where is, okay, this is the one we're starting with. I'm going to put on my little stencil here. It's going to go right in the front. Now, if you need help with the directions, you can always go to paperpumpkin.com and see how some people have put it together, and it'll help you out. Now, let's see what I put here. My, here are my little mini dimensionals. These are great little guys to put on really small areas. We'll put two or three down to, well, more like four or five. And then look, if you need to trim it, if it shows a little bit, you can just take your scissors and just cut that off so that it won't show. Okay. So we're going to put this right back over here. You moved after I put you down. Okay. Oh, look how cute that is. Bent mine, so let's bend it back. All right. Then we're going to add the sentiment here, and I'm going to put it right there. Let me tell you a little trick about if you've got two things that are going to overlap and both of them are using dimensionals, put a dimensional <clears throat> on the part that is not popped up, and then I'm just going to use a little glue dot right here to take care of that one. Back off. Yeah, isn't that cute? Now you could quit right there, or you can add some of the layers that they have. They put <clears throat> some of the, y'all excuse me, I'm <clears throat> losing my voice today, I think. So you can do some of these and put them down with the glue dots. Do the same thing on this one. Oops. Well, there it goes. Okay, then you're going to, if I can get it 
on the way it's supposed to go on. Here it is. Then what you do is, I'm gonna do another one for that one. You just scrape those little tops off. Let me do one more since I couldn't get that one to cooperate. They give you lots, so if you can't get one to work for you, you can pick another one. Okay, and I'm just going to put this right up here. And I'm going to put the yellow one down. Down there. And look how adorable that is. And fast. That's what I love about it. Now, let's see which one of the envelopes goes with this. It's going to be not the flowered one, the other one. This one. So all you have to do is slide this down inside and put some glue dots right up here to hold it. So I'm going to put that down like that. Did I lose my glue dots again? Here they are. And I'm going to put several. I think it's my scissors I'm, that's giving me the problems, not the glue dots. I don't usually use scissors. Let me see if and I don't see my taking a pick tool up there. Well, I'm in a, a real mess at my uh, studio. I have to admit that to you. I have been selling my uh, storage units that I stacked everything on because I'm trying to get ready for phase two of my recreation of my stamping room. And, oops, see where it went. So, you just would not believe everything is everywhere and I can't find a thing. But anyway, it'll all work out and it's gonna be so spectacular and fun when I'm through. Okay, so here you have your first card. And isn't that adorable with the inside lining? And let me tell you a little trick that I have learned because if I don't have, if I do a special envelope for a card, I have to have it with the card or I forget it every time. So what I've started doing is just folding the flap back and stick your card right inside. And then I have mine in one of those really useful boxes that Home Depot has. No, Office Depot has. And I have them categorized by birthday, anniversary, so-and-so. So, -and -so. so uh, this will be in with the birthday cards, and I think that one's adorable. Okay, let's see what's happening with the next one. All right, on this one, this is the peacock, pretty peacock. You are going to put this down, and I think I'll use some dimensionals for that. See, a lot of times I don't look at the directions. I just look at the pictures. Okay. And... I hope y'all are sending cards. I keep encouraging everybody. And with all my redos of furniture, painting, this, that, and the other, I don't know that I'm gonna get my Easter cards out, but I'm gonna try. Okay, now we have, oh, they have put, let's see, <clears throat> let's put this. Oh, and look how the um, the words are on the piece of plastic there. 
uh, Stampin' Up! is going to start doing that for our stamp sets, too, that are in the cases. I'm excited about that. It'll be much easier to see what's there and what to keep up with. Okay, let me take this off and see if I can read what it says. May your journey through life take you to many new and exciting places. Okay, let's see. I don't know that. I think I'm going to go back and use Here's to You. Or let's see. What does this one say? Let's see. All the best for a happy, healthy, and prosperous year. Okay. That's cute. That sounds like New Year's Day. All right. Let's do Here's to You. And you know, this could be used for more than, um, than birthday. Could be just Here's to You friend, you know. All right. I'm going to stamp that up, and I'm going to put it on my... Now, the way they had done it, which I thought was cute, they put it three times, and they did a birthday. But we're going to do it with the, um, the other one. Here's to you. Oops! Ah, I messed that one up. But we'll use the back of it. Here's to you, and I think I'll put happy birthday on the other one. Nah, I'm going to use two. All right, we're going to use here's to you, and then we'll do a little one for the happy birthday. That'll fit. Here we go. And let's see. Shall we put it maybe here? Here's to you. Happy birthday. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And again, I'm going to use my dimensionals. Two ought to work for the happy birthday. And we'll put three on the other one. So, you don't have to follow the directions. You can, and I usually do, but sometimes I get away from it and kind of do what I want to do. And then the, the other good thing is that if you don't really care for what it looks like on their samples, there are lots of um, ways that you can improvise and um, make alternative cards using all the same products. Okay, and in this, we have the other the little flowery one to match the flowers in the field. And I'm going to put it in and flip it over. Let's see if these will cooperate a little bit better this time. Oops, they keep flipping on me. There it goes. That's not where I wanted it. Well, that's okay. It'll be covered up. And one more. Just enough to hold it. Okay, and I'm just going to flick those off, the top off with my fingernail. Stick it inside. Wouldn't anybody just love to see 
your artistic side when you they open this envelope. So cute. And like I said, I fold it back. And here you have a beautiful birthday card and a fabulous looking little envelope to go with it. Now, let me show you what um, you can do with the uh, stencils. They're a lot of fun to play with. Let me get some of this out of the way. Okay. And I'm actually going to bring over a scratch piece of paper. Oh, and here is the March host code. Can you believe we're getting to the end of March? And if you um, go to my website, Stampin' at the Bird Nest, you'll see where you can shop. You can look at my gallery, see some of the things that I have done. And um, also, I'm affiliate for Stampin' Storage. There's a little button over there that if you want to get anything for organizing your stamps and inks and everything. You can get it from there. If you order through my website, I get a little commission and it doesn't affect your, uh, it doesn't affect what you pay at all. Now, let me show you what is the best use of these sponges. Cut them in quarters. Let's see if I can Okay, then instead of having one sponge, you've got four. And let's play a little bit with the stencils. Okay, there are four different ones here. Well, let's start off with the stars. We'll put them up in this corner. And I'm just going to stick with what we got. So you're just going to take your, your sponge and go in the ink, and then you want to be sure this doesn't move. So a lot of times I'll put little uh, painter's tape on there or sticky notes. And look how cute. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to give you an idea. Isn't that cool? Then you can just uh, run water over this and uh, dry them. Let's see how this one comes out. We might have to do the whole one here. Okay, and I'm just taking it. Now you can do it like this one turned out where I started dark and it went light or you can go back. But let's see what kind of design we get out of this. Oops, and see that's why you need the painter's tape. Here. You can use different colors with them. Like I said, go heavy, go light. And let's see what that looks like. Oh, that makes an interesting little design there. It does kind of look like mountains. Okay, now let's look at this next one. Oh, the clouds. You know they're going to come out good. Let's see. Let's do pale clouds. And I'm going to do these down here. We'll say that this is at sunset. And look how that turns out. Oh, they're darling. And they do look fluffy. Ah, now, uh, let's, let's do all of this one. And let me grab some tape real quick. Scotch tape can also be used, washi tape. But um, scotch tape also makes a tape that um, doesn't stick to... It's removable so that you can... Pull it up without damaging your project. 
and I'm just going to tape it on the edge a couple of three times just so it doesn't wiggle. Okay, I think I'm going to start in the middle. And then when you get through, just run these underwater. It is going to stain your sponge, but it won't. Um, if I go to a blue next time, it's not going to transfer the color, so it'll, it'll work fine. All right, I'm going to stamp right there. And then I'm, these little things come up, so I'm going to go towards the center with it. so that it doesn't pull it up. So this was a fun little freebie to get with your paper pumpkin. And I do hope that you'll try using it because, or send it as a gift because the, uh, my grandchildren and my niece loved them. I've sent them as birthday presents to my cousins and different people. Now, like I said, I could have used different colors. You can go light or dark, vary the shade, and then when I go to pick it up and pull my tape up too, there you have it. So, I hope that you'll enjoy playing with your stamping supplies, and show somebody, a friend that's never stamped before, teach them how to stamp. It's so much fun, and I get such enjoyment out of it. And with us being at home so much, it really tends to give me some relief. It's been my savior. I've always um, said, that stamping keeps me out of the bars, out of the casinos, and off the psychiatrist couch. This is my therapy, and I absolutely love it. So, I hope you have a great weekend. We've had a lot of rain, and I'm praying it's going to go away so that I can start painting my desk and start working towards phase two. So, um... We'll see how that goes, and I hope maybe to show you next week if, if I can get some paint time in. And until then, y'all have a great weekend. Love you. Mwah. Thanks for joining me, and don't forget to come back next week. Those tapes will be on YouTube for you to look at if you miss seeing it live. See ya!